One, okay, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Give me all praise to see how watching me outside. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Okay, uh, I got the brother uh, Taza Warrior from the uh, uh, Baltimore camp. He's on the phone. Uh, you know, the brother, he hit me up. You know, the spirit hit him. <clears throat> you know, he want to go into a topic about, you know, being straightforward. And uh, it's clearly the time that we live in. You know, um, you got prophecies heightening. You know, North Korea. Uh, the whole thing with that Libya, which also is in prophecies, going back to uh, Ezekiel the 38th chapter, you know. Um, so it's a lot of things heightening to where we we don't have time to uh, be beating around the bush, okay? We don't have time to be you know watering things down or you know dressing it up to make you make you feel better about about something, okay? Uh, I say this real quick in the spirit, you know. For one, you don't want to. You don't want that to occur, because um, you get in the habit of doing that. You know, then when the tables is turned and the shoes on the other foot, so to speak, you know, you're gonna be looking for that <clears throat> in return. You know, you're gonna be look. You're gonna be looking. You're gonna be looking for somebody else to uh, water things down for you. So you got to stay with the uh, straight and narrow. You know, you got it out. Yeah. Um. Uh, one of the things that, uh, oh, first off, I want to say salawam, you know, to all the uh, brothers out there, you know, y'all about to know, stop fucking dumb. Um, Lord willing, this is edifying, you know. But, um, uh, and it's truth, you know, uh, uh, a, a part of uh, keeping things simple, you know, is uh, you got to, you know, just, just get to the point with things, you know. You don't got to, you don't got to, uh, like, if you hit a brother up, you know, uh, and and you wanna you wanna do a video, you know, ask the brother if you wanna do a video. You know? You don't gotta, you know, go through all the you know, oh man, uh I I I got other plans. You know, just we supposed to know what, what what we want, you know? That's that's where that it's either yes or no, you know, and it's true. Um, I wanna get this scripture. Uh this is uh second I mean it's, yeah, second Timothy one verse uh, seven. For your how about some side has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, and that sound mind is we already supposed to know what we want, you know, uh, what we, whether we trying to talk to, to a brother, whether we trying to talk to anybody, you know? We supposed to know, like, straight off top, like, what, what our decisions is, you know? Yeah, yeah, the scriptures call that uh, <clears throat> wavering. You know, the scriptures say waver not in anything. You know, uh, being double-minded, essentially. You know, uh, a double. The scripture said that double-minded man is uh, 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 unstable in all his ways. You know, um, I'll read this real quick. This is James chapter four. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh, five. Do you think that the scripture save in vain the spirit that dwelleth in you lust and envy, but he giveth more grace? Wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves to the Most High, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and be purified, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Right, now, in order to purify your heart, <clears throat> you know, you, first of all, you got to cleanse it. You know, how do we cleanse it? Through the word of the Lord. You know, so when your thoughts come to you and you uh, know it's right, the right thing to say, you ought to say it in the, in the spirit and uh, have faith and just be uh, straightforward, not not to beat around the bush, you know. And, and uh, you know, you you basically want to get the point across as, as fast as possible because we don't have time to to let things linger. And on top of that, when you let things linger, all right, when you look, when you let things just marinate uh, in the uh, in the spirit, if you will, if you let things just marinate, <clears throat> that leaves room for Satan to get in between and then add different thoughts in your mind. You know, you want to, you want to beat Satan to the punch to the best of your ability and basically, you know, uh, lay it out flat, man. Come with the righteousness, man. You know? Right. And that goes into the, uh, the scripture when, uh, Yahweh Sad was talking to the, um, to his disciples. He was saying, you know, when, when, uh, when you get, uh, locked up, uh, don't think about what you're going to say, you know, because the Lord going to put the spirit on you to say what you got to say at that moment, you know? Right. You ain't going to be beating around, around a bunch of brothers, you know, in, in captivity, you know, Esau, uh, 
and let's stop and questioning us. You know what? You know, if we're going to be sitting up there saying, um, yeah, I think America's going to be destroyed. No, we, we know that America's going to be destroyed because why? Y'all about to me outside, made it plain and simple. You know? Um, I'm going to get that in, um, it's in uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk, uh, I think it's the, the second, uh, the second uh, chapter. Uh, it's Habakkuk 2 and uh, 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, so the thing is that we know the scriptures that the Lord made everything plain and simple. You know, the law says, you know, not to eat swine. We'll get around it, you know? Right. You guys that they want to they wanna try to, uh, you know, this got pork in it, you know, and they try to get a, get around that, you know, and it's like, yo, the scriptures say don't, don't touch it. You know, you can't get around that. Right. Right, yeah, yeah. The scripture says, uh, like you said, uh, uh, the scripture Habakkuk, Right, yeah. Yeah. The scripture says, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables." And and when you don't beat around a bush, you plain with it. You, you you know you straight to the point. You know, uh, there's a scripture I can't think of where it's at. You know, and it's basically the scripture says, uh, to uh, speak plainly to the people. You know, and when we uh, 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 another scripture, uh, Isaiah fifty-eight. You know, um. Uh, what does it say? Isaiah 58 and 1. A uh, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You know, you cry aloud, you spare not. Meaning, basically, when people beat around the bush, you know, a lot of times what it is, Jake be uh, caring about what other people uh, feel about, you know, the scenario, so to speak. Like, you know, they, they care. They, they don't want to ruffle feathers or hurt no one's feelings when they bring out the truth. Well, the scripture says, you know, Paul had to uh, 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 reiterate. He said, "Do I am I now your enemy because I tell you the truth? Why? Because the truth naturally is going to ruffle feathers. Okay, the truth is contrary to to what we've been taught to uh, 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 absorb, if you will, in this society, man. All right. Yeah. I got that scripture for you. I, uh, this is um, this is Matthew chapter ten, verse nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought." How or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in, in you. Yeah, and, and Yahweh Bashim you know, he, 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 he's mad at this place, man. Uh, what, what do Amos 9 and 8 say? You know, that the Lord is going to destroy this place off the face of the, you know, of the earth, man. You know? Right. So, so when that when that comes... I'm a mindset supposed to be on, hey, your your side is going to crack no clouds at any moment, man. Right. You know? Ain't no, ain't no good fans or butts about it. You know? And he he going to crack these clouds if, you know, Esau, uh, free, don't free me. Or, you know? No, we, he know? we know that the prophecies are sore and that they're going to come, man. We The, the scriptures that uh, Peter says that we have a, a more sore word of prophecy. Once you're sore of things, maybe that's when you, if you, if you know, Something is going to happen. You're going. To, you're supposed to be confident that this, that you know your access towards this this goal is going to be it's going to be made manifest, man. You know? Yeah, that's right. That's right. The, uh, the scripture says uh, to back you up. The scripture says set your affections on high. You know, yeah, uh, because the things that have uh, been shown unto us are not from us. They're from Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. You know, and then with that, you know, you got to be full tilt. All right. You got to be full tilt in this knowledge, you know, when you uh moving forward, you know, because again, uh, uh like the scripture said here, you know, in uh, Matthew 10, 10th chapter, he says, he said, uh, take no thought on how, what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour, what ye shall speak, for it is not ye that speak, right? Now, when you try to articulate certain things um and manifest it to where, you know, it's suitable for either you or the next man, then that's when you basically beating around the bush. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just saying, you know, to hell with my feelings and to hell with yours, and this is what's real. Scripture says that what? In the last days, you know, basically the uh, the true uh, worshipers shall be brought forth, and they're going to come in what? In spirit and in truth, 
right? You know, so it's it's all about truth, man. It's all about the real deal, man. You know? Uh, I got a scripture. Uh, uh, Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, right? Because the Lord calls us into this truth to, to be men, you know? It says, I call and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, right? And it's not talking about because, you know, people are, are straight to the point. You know, it's because people are stupid. You know, they, they don't, they, they, they wise in their own eyes. It says, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Here, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening, opening of my lips shall be right things. So when you, when we say, you know, uh, don't beat around the bush, you know, it's like, yo, if you, if you know what you want, you to the point, you know? Uh, and, and, uh, like, a lot of people in this, this society, they like to, to, to sit up there and ask, hey, uh, you know, call you. Hey, can you do me a favor? You know, and it's like, before you even can say yes or no, they already, you know, got in their minds what they want. But for us, you know, we know that people are going to come at us different ways. The last thing that we want to do is go give, give them the, the, you know, uh, get, tell them to get to the point. You know, you, you want us to do you a favor? Well, what you want? You know, before you even say anything, so I can know what I'm getting myself into. You know, yeah, people yeah. out here in the world do that. You know, yeah. It's saying, well, so I you had a deal was about to say something. No, no, no. People want to butt up things. That's what it is, man. You know. God, it says uh, Proverbs eight and seven. It says, "For my mouth shall speak truth," and that's what we're supposed to do. Speak, speak the truth. It says, "And wickedness is an abomination to my lips." All the words of my mouth. Uh, in righteousness, there is nothing forward or perverse in them. And that's one thing, like you said, when, when you sit up there, you tell them straight up, you know, what it is, people like to get in their feelings, man. You know? We ain't here to p p protect and preserve your feelings. Right. You know? Right. Now, you read that scripture. It said, uh, can you read that part where it says perverse? Um, It says, there is nothing forward or perverse in them. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's right, right. Because the word forward means crooked. <clears throat> when, when you uh, uh, when you when you not beating around the bush, you you're direct, you 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 you're straight on the mark, if you will. You you know you just coming straight with it, man. You know you to the point, man. You know, and and that's what you know through the spirit and power, y'all watch me out shy on down to a pop, on down to apostle to heart, and then <clears throat> all the men that come up under that branch, if you will, up under that tree, if you will. All right, are, are basically taught to be straightforward, man. You know, to to, to to deal straight, man. You know, and, and that's basically, it's, it's like an unwritten law, if you will, or unwritten decree to, to uh, basically to, to deal straight, man. And don't, don't, don't be a hypocrite. Don't make it seem like, because you know, you know, you got guys that are, uh, you know, basically a, a dude, uh, you know, hit you up, uh, but, uh, uh, soften you up through the spirit, you know, try to play on your emotions and, you know, Oh, that's why the scripture says uh, 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 a gift destroys the heart. Because you got people that uh, uh, give you a gift, like, you know, basically um, compliment you. And then uh, shortly after that, you know, they, they come at your neck, so to speak, you know? They, right. they, 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 why? Because that's throw it. That's crooked. That's that's perverse, you know? As opposed to just saying what it is, man, you know? Right. That guy's scripture, uh, Job uh, 6 and 25. How forcible are the right words? I'm saying a lot of people, you know, you sit up there and you turn on the right thing, you know, and they, they sit up there and, and, and make it seem like you're forcing your opinion or, you know, your thoughts and stuff like that on people, you know? It says, but what does your arguing re reprove? You know, like, and like you said, you, you, somebody come at you and you, they get mad at you for, for, uh, for being straight up. You know, and they try to reprove you for, for, for being straight up. And it's like, yo, like, that ain't, gonna, that ain't, that ain't supposed to stop you. You supposed to hear, you know, like Great Millstone, and you did the video. If you if you have this knowledge, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to use it. If you got right, use it, you know? Yeah. But people in the world, they, they like, to, to, um, they like to, to, to look at it differently, man, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's a completely different program than what Jake is used to. Jake ain't used to to being told straight up. You know, Jake is used to emotions, man. You know who's pretty good? 
you know, I'll say this when it doesn't come to emotions and being straightforward is basically foreigners, man. You know, uh, my experiences, <clears throat> you know, uh, for brothers that know me personally, that know what I do, you know, uh, I go into people's homes. You know, I, I've been in thousands of people's homes and had to interact with them and, you know, help them out with, you know, with their situation and things of that nature. And uh, the most straightforward people that I've ever come across are people that are not from America. Like, I'm talking about even the Europeans, man. You know, because uh, even when you look at them, like a lot of times you look at them foreigners, man, even when they talk to you, they, they'll come close in your face. You know, they're, they're, like, you know, they're, they're, even their body language is uh, abrupt. You know, it, it's it, 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 it so-called ruffles feathers. Like, but the thing is, is you know what it is? America is uh, uh, is like that. It's so emotional and it's so emotional driven, emotionally driven. And it's so driven uh, uh, by... Uh, 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 yeah, like I say, emotions and other people's feelings because typically that's when someone wants to hide something. That's why the scriptures talk about, you know, it says that, um, you know, Psalms 55, you know, it's a basic scripture, but, you know, we're coming to the full understanding of these basic scriptures, you know? Now, <clears throat> when you read Psalms 55, it's really talking about uh, backstabbing niggas, man, you know? Psalms 55, when you read the whole chapter, a lot of times we brothers bring it up and they talk about Esau, but David is talking about uh, his his uh, uh his peers, okay. This is what it says. It says he had put forth hands and such and be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. What broken his promise? Right. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Right. That the, that, that soft speech, man. That's what Israel want to hear. Remember going back to uh, Isaiah the thirtieth chapter. It says uh, prophesy lies, prophesy deceit. Tell us smooth things. Basically, beat around the bush. Don't tell us what's really going to happen. Okay? And that's Israel's mentality. But you got to, coming into this knowledge, you got to get used to uh, the raw and uncut, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, to back up what you said, you know, to land back off what you said, like, you know, so many people are used to, 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 to the ways of this, this world. Like, when you go out to, like, the doctors, the hospital, you know? That whole, that whole environment put a spirit on you, you know? The doctor might sit up there and say, well, this could be the re this could be the problem, this could be the problem, you know? And it's like, hey, man, get straight to the point, man, you know? And they give you drugs, they don't give you medicine, you know? They give you drugs that, you know, even if that, that medicine beat around the bush, man, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's what all place got to go. But I got a scripture, uh, Job yeah. 21 and 34. How then comfort ye me in vain, right? And a lot of people, right? They like to sit up there when you when you call them or, or talk. They talk to you. Hey, how are you doing? Like well, even that right there is beating around the bush. All right, if I say I'm doing doing bad, what you want? Going give me something to, uh, to 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 make me better? Right. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Says, how, how then comfort ye me in vain, sin and your answers there remains falsehood. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's straightforward. So, yo, Ak, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Khan, Khan, Khan. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, brother, um, what you reminded me of when you said earlier it was heavy about the uh, pharmaceutical industry because the scriptures talk about the uh, the false prophets are basically the scripture says that they are physicians of no value. Now the word right. the word physician in the Hebrew is rawapa. Now you got uh, just a quick Hebrew. You know, rapa means to heal, but rawapa is like healing. And the word healing, all right, the word healing is to make whole, all right? And when you don't beat around the bush, you straight, you whole with it, man, 100%, all right? You ain't, you, it ain't no 75, a, a half truth is a lie, okay? Right. So if you, if you if you call yourself in this truth and you're a teacher, you know, you you are practicing, um, you're practicing to be a, a physician, a spiritual physician. In order to be a physician, okay, you got to deal whole. You got to deal straight. You got to give the 100% truth, man. Okay? Uh, let me see if I got, I got, I think I got something else. Let me just go to it. Well, that goes into that, if I can make this point, yep. that's when, that's going to, uh, when Yahweh told his uh, disciples, you know, and, as you go preaching, the kingdom of uh, heaven is at hand, heal the sick, uh, cleanse the lepers. Right. You know, a lot of people who read that and they think that it's 
is literally talking about cleansing and lepers. This is this is spiritual that we speaking about here. You know. Yeah. Well, that, that's that, well, that, they, they were cl cleansing lepers. Yeah, they, yeah, they were. You know. So it, it's God. it's twofold. It's twofold. God. You know, it's twofold. Back now with with cleansing lepers and uh uh. Uh, um, we're cleansing lepers and uh, 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 and healing the sick because our people are sick, you know. Well, back then uh, they were actually uh, healing the sick, and you know they were doing both. You know they were doing both, and that's why I said uh, earlier that we come into the fullness of this knowledge, man. Because when we truly get the fullness of this knowledge, we are going to be able to heal the sick and cleanse lepers, you know. So, hey, man, the, 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 hey, that's heavy. I just thought about something. That's the spirit, you know. Later on, you know, I'll put it to the. To, to, uh, you know, later on, and Lord's will come out. You know, but um. Oh. Any, anyway, uh, real quick, Salak here, brother. This is uh, this is uh, uh, Exodus twenty three and one. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Okay, that that's beating around the bush. Okay, uh, having respect of persons is beating around the bush. Okay, you ain't dealing straight because oh, this is my man's me me and this brother real tight. You know. Hey man, I learned from a while back. Elder Manathazak said he said, "Man, we could be the coolest people, we could be the coolest brothers in the world, but you know, once you go off, that light switch need to go on. You know, that light switch is a whole, whole brother. You know, you know, no. There's, a, there's a, uh, there's a, this agape love is uh, 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 because they said agape. If I'm not mistaken, agape love uh, is like unconditional, but there is a condition to the unconditional love." You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a part of the guidelines for you to get that unconditional love, because that unconditional love also goes into Matthew the 18th chapter. You know when you know basically you know if a, a man uh, cross you, you know you know to forg forgive him 70 times seven. You know so you gotta you gotta learn to forgive, but if you go uh, above and beyond so to speak, uh, if you 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 doing too much, then you know that shit gotta get checked. You know ain't no just white sweeping that shit under the rug. You are gonna get checked. All right, this, um, let me finish this. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause, the, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right, because uh, it'd be a whole bunch of uh, people saying one thing, you know, and then everybody saying contrary to what you're thinking, and then, you know, you basically beating around the bush when you don't come out and say, tell everybody that they're wrong. But like, you know, it could be five different brothers saying contrary to what you're thinking. But if you're thinking the right thing and the spirit is on you, you ought to say it. Or, or else you're beating around the bush. Right. You know? Neither shalt thou, uh, shalt thou uh, countenance a poor man in his cause. Same thing. You know, it doesn't matter if he's poor, he's rich. Hey, man, if he's poor, he's going off, you got to tell him. You know? Um, it says that... Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh... Yeah, that was it. That was it. Salakia. Yeah, I got, you know, I got one more scripture. Oh, Salakia. Salakia, brother. Here we go. This is my bad. My bad. This uh, Verse 8. I'm going to jump down. It says, And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blinded the wise and perverted the words of the righteous. You see? And that's another point, man. You know, like I said earlier about the gift, you know, uh, some uh, 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 scripture says, um, Show the oppression make of a wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. You know, right. you can't you can't put aside wisdom because you're receiving a gift. If a brother's doing a lot for you, a brother could be breaking bread with you, bring you up in his house, you know, and all that. But if he starts to go off, you got to tell him about it. You know, that was it. I... Uh, um, you know, uh, being as good that we're on uh, on this topic, you know, uh, this is a, the perfect scripture. Uh, Revelation three and uh, fifteen. I know thy works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. <laughs> when we say beating around the bush, you ain't getting on the point. You know, you can even be hot, you know, closer to the point, or you can be far away, but you ain't you ain't dead. You know, that's what that hot cold game. You know, you got you got to be be on that on the point, man. Okay. You know, it says, uh, I would though. I mean, I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm. And neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out my mouth. And that's how we supposed to, you know, we supposed to, to get to get rid of those that that lukewarmness that may be at us, you know. But also get rid of that 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 should allow these uh, people out here, the brothers, you know, that's that's new to this truth, you know, women that you might be dealing with, because you you don't know that these women are, are lukewarm because they got the world the spirit of this world on them. These women are cold. You know? 
cold. So I get what you said. I said these women are cold. Oh yeah, they yeah, ain't God. Even warm. You know, God. they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't got a foot. They ain't got a uh, hand in this. They don't got a horse in the race. You know. No. Yeah, man. Con, con. I was looking for the scripture that said uh, to be fervent in spirit, because <clears throat> uh, essentially when you hot, you that means you're fervent in spirit. You know, and, and in order to be hot, look, man. You know when something is on your on your mind and it's hot on you. You know, I know me partic in particular. Once I once you know. Once I get hot, once I get mad or upset, I'm just gonna say what the fuck it is, you know. And and, and through the spirit, you know, it, it takes time to grow and have faith in order for you to achieve that spirit. Some brothers got that spirit naturally, period, you know. Yeah. But you know, but you know, once you get upset, you know, once you hot, once your spirit is hot, you are supposed to say it, man, you know. Yeah. Because the Most High jack you up. The scripture I like to go into James four and seventeen. Says to him that to that uh the north that knows to do good and do it for not to him it is sin, you know. <clears throat> so ain't no beating around the bush in this thing, man. You you know you know the right thing to say. You know what to say, man. If you don't say it, then it's a sin unto you, man. You don't want the Most High to you know to uh, to pay you a visit, all right? Yeah. Y'all more. Right. I, hey, I got that. that that's, I got that. Uh, because that's a great point that you just said. You know, because a lot of a lot of people. They don't, they don't beat around the bus when they mad. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> now all of a sudden they get mad. You know, what they want to do? They want to get carnal. They want to start fighting. Right. You, you got to control that shit. You got to control it. Yeah, God. You know? That reminds me of them, um, the guys back in uh, ancient history, you know, when they when they was uh, talking to the disciples, they said, did we not straightly command you not to speak in the, in the name of, this, of the Lord? Yeah, they was angry. You know? They was angry. Yep, yep. Hit it. <laughs> it is it's, uh, yep. The Romans, it's the scripture that you wanted, uh, Romans 12 and uh, 10. I'm going to start at 10. Yep. It says, be kindly affectionate, uh, yeah, affection one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit. Well, let me say this out real quick because uh, when the scriptures talk about being affectionate in love, meaning <clears throat> you got to know your, your brother's mentality. So some brothers do are able to take things differently. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't, you don't always have to be harsh when you're being straightforward because not every spirit can receive things in a harsh manner. You know what all I'm right. saying? Like, all right, for instance, you know, some brothers, like I like to use the herbs as an analogy because you got bitter herbs. Like <clears throat> some brothers can eat whole garlic, like a whole clove, nothing else. That's it. And they just eat it, and they just that their their their, their, their uh, stomachs are strong enough to to uh, take it raw like that, you know. Now you got some brothers that still take the garlic, but they'll slice it up and put it in their food. Now that's an easier way for some people to di to digest it. However, at the end of the day, you're still getting that antibiotic in your system, all right, to cleanse you, all right. And, and that's how you got to look at it. You got to know who gonna be able to take this whole garlic, if you will. <laughs> Well, who needs it sliced up in their food, man? You know? So, at the end of the day, we still yikequab, you know? You still got a yikequab, but you yikequab for righteousness at the end of the day, you know? <clears throat> that goes to that scripture, uh, servants be, be subject unto your masters with fear. You know, not only to the uh, to the forward, but on, yeah, I believe it said not only to the gentle, but to the forward. You exactly. Know? Yeah, because the word forward means crooked, you know? It seems crooked unto you, you know? But, and then gentle is, you know... <clears throat> More soft manitone, if you will. God. God. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to finish it up. It says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yeah. When you, when you, when you slothful, like me and the brother Wamba, uh, Elder Wamba, you know, we did the video about being, uh, 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 pick up the slack, you know, so when you slothful in business, you know, you, you base that's basically beating around the bush, you know. When it comes to business, you're supposed to be straightforward because this, this is the, <laughs> you know, it, uh, like they, they said, this the most. Uh, Lahab said, uh, this is the most high's business, you know. Well, it is the <laughs> most high's business. Yeah, how about you know, shop business? And if something ain't going right in the business and you get approached and hey, you got to take it, this is business, never personal, you know. Like Nino Brown said to uh, Ice T, you know, hey brother, he said, he said, hey my man, this is business, never personal. 
You know, and he said that to uh, uh, my brother's keeper. He was uh, uh, G Money said that Nino Brown said that he said his business never personal, man. You know, G Money he, he crossed the lines. You know, he broke the rules. He started sucking a glass dick. Even though he said, "Am I my brother's keeper?" He said he cried. He shot the nigga. He said, oh, "Yes, I am." He had to smoke the nigga. You know, so it, it, it'd be like that, man. As a matter of fact, when you go into the law, the first if you caught someone in the act of adultery or you caught someone in the act of of death, the first person that would have to throw the stone was the witness. So there's no such thing as really beating around the bush in, in Israel. If you a witness, you have to show up. You you the first one to throw a stone. You can't you can't put it in a napkin. You know you got you can't put your stone in a napkin. You gotta be you gotta be sharpening. Yeah, I know I grew up I grew up with uh such and such. I grew up with Sean, but I'm a, I'm a smoothing this rock out. I'm about to you know you smoothing that rock out, getting that rock ready because Sean about to catch one to the to the dome, man. You know, and if we do that, if he's doing that spiritually now, you know, yeah, I know we cool and all that, but hey, look, man, my stones is ready, man. Dude, it, it, spirit, the spiritual darts is ready, man. You know? God, God had them spiritual God. darts ready, man. You know? God. Hey, uh, 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 Matthew 7 and 14, you know, it says, uh, you know, strive ye to enter into the straight gate. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> uh, uh, everywhere where you go into the scriptures, you know, it says, you know, follow this word, you know, whether it be to the left or whether it be to the right, you know? Right. When, you, if, when you see people walking... You know what they, how do they walk? They don't walk just right foot, right foot, right foot. They walk left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. You know? That's that straight, straight path, man. You know, if you try to walk straight, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. so in truth, you got to walk straight, man. You know? And it's, a, it's straight and narrow. You know, straight and to the point. You know, there ain't no, no, no curves, you know, like how snakes be moving. Right. You know? Right. What we, what we did at, at, as, you know, the hopeful elect, we supposed to be straightforward, man, and to the point, not beating around the bush. Yeah. You know, but that's all I had, huh? Yeah, con, con, we could close out, you know. Yeah, Lord's will, brothers, edify, you know. It's about girding up your loins in these last days, man, because the time is getting short. You know, the the, the mercy, uh, 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 the, the window of mercy is getting smaller, you know. You know, it's, it's basically it's championship rounds, if you will, you know. And also, too, when you know, when you get to a certain, if you're brother, for brothers that play sports, <clears throat> When you get into the championship game, you know, there's not too much room for my bad, you know, just to be all the way real, you know. So, brothers is going to be coming harsh. Brothers, brother's spirit is going to get harsher, man, you know, because why? The, the spirit of the Lord is being increased in brothers, man, and in the, in the, in, 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 meaning the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Remember, the scripture said that you knew that I was an austere man. You know, and, and when the hour shot comes back, it's either you 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 getting up under the the wing, which is the wings of healing, or you getting up under his sword. You know, and and, and right now we're we're living in a time where you, you don't gotta see the sword. You know, and brothers is telling you the, the, the sword. This is the sword you gotta see. You know, with, with these scriptures. So you rather you rather deal with this than when your hour shot actually comes back. So you know, it ain't time to lighten up. It's time to tighten up, man. You know. Hey, with that, all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know, uh, double honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, shalom to the elect out there.